I just finished taking pictures of my first shoot of the day. I was going to film my little new point of view Insta360 Go 3 camera, but the agent was there and I just wanted to get it done fast. And I'm headed to my second shoot, which is the other condo that was getting cleaned the last time I went to do the other uh, one, the unit 19, and I couldn't do unit 38. But I wanted to touch on the importance of why you might want to consider using a real estate photography business coach like myself to jumpstart your real estate photography business. So full clarity, when I started my business, I didn't do it with a coach. I did it all by myself and I did pretty well. But the problem is when you're learning everything from a free resource like YouTube, you don't know that if what you're learning is the right thing to be learning at any given time. So no shade on you know, other YouTubers in this space. I love Nathan Cool. I learned a lot of, you know, how to edit from him. And, you know, you might be getting into this and be told that you have to shoot flash ambient to be a real estate photographer and you have to edit your own photos to be a professional real estate photographer. And while that might be okay in the small scale, you won't be able to produce a really professional result right from the get-go if you're also not only trying to learn how to take really good photos, but you're also trying to learn how to edit everything because Photoshop and Lightroom and, you know, producing a really professional image result is a skill in and of itself. So you should be focusing way more on how to take good photos and then having somebody outsource because somebody who does image editing for a living is going to be way better at it than you are. And that's just the way it's going to be. So if you want to get into real estate photography and save a lot of time and have a super professional result, then you should outsource your images. That's just the way it goes. But working with a coach helps you bypass a lot of the expensive difficulties that come alongside building a, a business in this space. There's no guide online of like, this is how you build a business. This is everything you need to do to build a business that you're interested in. And it gets even more muddy when you're building a business in such a niche space like real estate photography, because there's no right or wrong way to do things, but there is a right or wrong, I guess there is a right or wrong way to do things because while you can edit yourself and you can shoot flash ambient, you can just prioritize doing only photos, not video, not drone, and not floor plans, and not virtual tours, you're not going to be making nearly as much money, and then you're going to be struggling wondering why your real estate photography business hasn't taken off, because you're not structuring it correctly. That's just the way it is. So working with a coach like myself, who can take your position in where you're currently at and what your goals are, and be able to help tailor a plan for your specific desires and your specific goals can be a huge boon. You know, it, coaching doesn't have to be expensive. It can be, you know, I don't want to throw shade on another YouTube uh, who does real estate photography coaching for $11,000. And while that certainly is a good idea, like $11,000 sounds insane, but if you pay $11,000 to make $100,000 then suddenly 11 grand doesn't seem like it's too bad of a deal but it can definitely be gotten into at a, a much 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 lower price so if you're interested in coaching fill out the application or is there really just some questions down below and we'll set up a call so i can talk to you about what your goals are and you know what i could possibly do to help you get there you don't have to work with a coach but it'll save you a lot of money it'll save you a lot of time and it's good to just have someone to bounce ideas back and forth on to make sure that what you're doing and what you're learning is the correct thing to be doing and learning at any given time. So I might get a lot of dislikes on this video because people for some reason don't want to work with a coach and that's totally fine. You don't have to. I didn't work with a coach, but if I, if I knew that real estate photography coaches existed <laughs> when I started, I absolutely would have because it's, it's, it saves you so much pain and so much headache and so much like I look back at things I did four years ago just starting out my business I'm I cringe because it's just like oh god that could have been done so much better whether it was a specific interaction with a client or you know me bending over backwards for a client that ended up going somewhere else or when I lost you know I so I got relatively early on in my real estate photography career I I landed a a really 
profitable partnership with a really high performing brokerage in my area. And then I lost them. So that was $6,000 a month that disappeared. And there wasn't too much that I could have done now looking back because uh, they ended up going with, uh, they partnered with Zillow and then they had to use Zillow's photographers and all that. So while that specifically wasn't necessarily a, a something I could have avoided, there have been other mistakes that I've made that I've, I really, I don't think I would have made them had I had someone further along than me to just be like, hey, this is the situation that's happening. What do you think is going on? What do you think that I could do to, to mend this or to fix this issue? And that's, that's the whole point of working with a coach is it's just, you know, I know it sounds arrogant of me to say, but it's just working with someone ahead of you. They, I already have a business in this space. I already do it for a living. And I'm really good at teaching other people as well. I can, you know, it's one thing to be like a professional real estate photographer. It's another thing to be a professional real estate photographer and be able to teach what I know to other people. So that's what I do. So that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. If you're on the fence about starting your real estate photography business and you want affordable coaching, I'm not going to rip your wallet out in front of you and, you know, make you bleed. I'm trying to help people. So if you want help, click the link below, fill out some questions. We'll have a call. You don't have to join. You don't, you don't have to at all. I'll just, I'll ask you questions about what you got going on. And then, oh my God, there's a horrible accent over there. I'll ask you questions about what you have going on and then we'll go from there. You can see if it's something you want to do, but I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.